we haven't had a we haven't seen a home of powder puff game since we were sophomores derek and yeah, we are back right. here senior year both of these students the both of these teams have not seen Ladies or played in a powder puff contest so this is a first time for not only the seniors but for also the juniors so the level of play is kind of at the same level tonight one fun fact i want to bring up here right now Juniors have not won since 2017. They won once again in 2013. We got a level playing field in here, folks. Seniors normally have a year of experience under their belt. They don't have that this year. As both teams, you mentioned it, Dawson, they're, they're even right now. Yeah, so due to COVID last year, the, sen the senior team would have played as juniors last year, but with all the hectic stuff going on, that did not happen. So they got going this week. So. Coach Whitaker, the head coach of the seniors tonight, talked to us before, before kickoff here, and he was saying that, you know, these girls just picked up the game of football on Monday, you know, started to embrace it and started to learn plays, and there's a total of over 100 students on either team. So yep. it's a pretty big roster. So, you know, over 75% of the team might not play tonight. But over the course of three days, they try and nitpick those best players that fit in either offense, defense, or on special teams tonight. Both teams have taken the field at about midfield. We're minutes away from doing the coin flip as both coaches have come out at the midfield stripe. There's also Principal Stephen Hawley there. Something else to note, we have MHSA officials tonight. Usually, you know, it's Mr. Manzo, someone like that. Nope, tonight we got official MHSA officials. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to put out there Powder puff is a little bit different rules-wise compared to, say, your average football game. So um, there's running clock. The clock only stops in the last two minutes of each half, so in the second quarter and fourth quarter tonight. There are no onside kicks. The receiving team will gain possession regardless of who, who gets the kickoff. Um, blocking. Players can use their hands to block as long as they do not hold their opponents in any way. Fumbles, this is a big key right here. Fumbled balls may only be advanced by a player who picks up the ball during the extra point attempts, shotgun snaps, and punts. All other fumbles will be blown dead and the offense will maintain possession of the ball from the spot of the fumble. So it's basically at the end of the day, if you're on offense and you fumble the ball, it's no harm to you. So you'll just lose possession of the down. And then punting, teams may punt on fourth down. However, they must announce to the referee and the opposing team that they are punting before they do so. So a couple, you know, minor rule changes to the course of the game. This isn't, you know, full padded up football rules, you know, head-to-head -head contact, you know, all that, all the stuff you would expect in football, but not tonight. Uh, it's a great night for football. We did just have some rain pass through, so there is puddles all over the track and we were down on the field. Yeah, there was puddles on the field. It's pretty wet on the field. There are going to be some slipping and sliding. Hopefully, no injuries to any certain extent. As something else I want to bring up, we have student sections again. We have a full student section in the juniors. It's about half full. Looking down at the seniors, I want to say that's probably about halfway full as well. This is awesome having a full, packed out crowd. Student body always seems to respond to powder puff as we take it down to, to the PA announcer Red, Roger Smith for the national Lagorian. anthem. And powder puff fans for the juniors and the seniors. At this time we ask everybody at both fields to please stand. Please remove your hats. The privilege of this game was made possible by those who have fought and continue to fight for the freedoms we enjoy. Let us now honor and respect their efforts and our country. Civilian gentlemen, please remove your hats. All veterans, we encourage you to render the appropriate salute. And everyone who's able, please stand at attention and place your hand over your heart as we proudly sing our national anthem.
as both teams are about to take the field. Here's Dustin Wolf with tonight's keys of the game. All right, so tonight's keys of the game. All right, so before kickoff, there was a little bit of a weather front that moved through here, and, you know, seniors, you know, you're coming into this game just as experienced as the juniors. Don't let the little sister run the table tonight. If you're the seniors, you know, you're the upperclassmen in the building, you run the building, you know. You got, you know, you just got to take control, you know. And the second point, make those key plays, you know. You're not going to be penalized for a fumble tonight, you know. Play your game. At the end of the day, Coach Whitaker was saying, you know, they have really, they have a lot of confidence tonight, and, you know, they weren't allowed to be on social media today posting about tonight's game. They had to do it a social was, media blackout. Yes, because it was going to hurt the team's morale tonight. There's a couple of juniors who actually found out today they have to sit out due to social media involvement. That's right, Derek. And, you know, we spoke with many players and throughout school today, and it's the animosity between the two teams. These two teams, this is probably one of my favorite games of the year. Just being able to see these two teams go at it year after year, the rivalry between these two teams. Seniors have obviously had the upper hand a couple years, for the last couple of years. Let's see what happens tonight. That's right, the seniors are the defending winners from 2019, hence we did not have a game last year, but well, this year seems to be a pretty even contest, so this one could easily go both ways. So we are just about to get underway here as the teams are lining up. G game time forecast, 66 degrees, 40% chance of rain for the rest of the night. Let's see how the rain affects the play. As the juniors have taken the field, Coach Whitaker is walking out. As we already have chance coming from the senior student section. Alrighty, so the it's starting. It's awesome to have them back. Yeah, the starting QBs for the senior side tonight will be number 92, Taylor Mosier, and number 97, Olivia Poplowski. Let me just state for the seniors, I have four pages of rosters. For the juniors, it's three pages. So that's going to be fun trying to keep up with these players' it's, numbers tonight. It's nice to see all of the, you know, students coming out here and not being afraid to participate. It really shows you, you know, how good each of the student bodies are, juniors, seniors, you know. Even freshmen and yeah, sophomores. Yeah, it's like great turnout. I have turnout. sophomore friends in the senior section tonight. Yeah, it's a great turnout. You know, it's at the end of the day, Lake Orion will be victorious tonight. Hopefully we can say the same thing about the homecoming game tomorrow. Let's hope. All right, so it looks like the officials trying to get things situated and getting underway here. Coach Whitaker looks irate about something. That's the winner of the day, irate. As I cannot tell you what's happening as the juniors are jogging back into a huddle. As Coach Whitaker clearly got his answer to whatever he was looking for. So I think what they were discussing was I think they got the juniors were supposed to receive. Probably. So probably. They, they were lined up to kick off. So looks like the juniors will yeah, receive. Yeah, because there's no deep man for either team. As the chants start getting going here as a It's seniors. gonna be a loud night. There's a lot of animosity between these two teams. You've mentioned it a couple times. We have not had a game since 2019. We did not have one last year. I'm just excited to be able to call this game. That's right. It's a unique atmosphere here at Lake Orion High School. Not only do you get the football team, the but football, you team, the football team's not on the not on the field tonight. They are in the stands at their fellows. As I cannot see an open spot in the senior student section from what I can see, as we're seconds away from starting the first powder puff game in two years, there's a whiff whistle to be able to start everything. There's the kick. It's brought in at about the, that's the 12 yard line. Fumbled a little bit. And there's a fumble as it's going to be whistled down at the spot. That was nine. That was number nine, Kennedy Crimson, with the recovery and the return. Juniors are going to take over at the 20 yard line. As their junior section is jumping right now, I am not getting there jumping. 
Yeah, and they got the drum line over there supporting them tonight. One of the best things about football, the drum line, the marching band. It's awesome to have all of that back. All we need is the robotic team. That's for sure. Then we got a full varsity football game. Packed house here at Lake Orion High School tonight. There's some motion handoff up the middle as she is taken down, flag pulled at about the 27 yard line, 22 yard line, pardon. There's Reagan Haas on the carry. It's awesome to see just powder puff under the underway again. Looks like it'll be second and about eight. From the 22 yard line. Reminder, it is running clock with except for the last two minutes of each half. As Dawson, there's still fans piling in. There's a handoff, taken left, breaks a couple tackles, as she is stopped down at the 20 yard line. That is 114. I need to go to the third page of my roster. I do not have a 114. 114, Jenna Manginello. I was looking at the wrong roster. Is that's gonna bring up third down and 10 from the 20 yard line? So they lost two there. Is that his coach Barnes, Carl Barnes, safe head by day, defensive coordinator by night. Yeah, he got a little bit of an influence from the Chicago Bears defense, which has his favorite team. He loves cheering on the Bears every Sunday. Had a big win a couple weeks ago about against the Lions. Justin Fields, first NFL career victory. Is that will bring up third down and 10? Looks like this might be a wildcat. No, it's not. Rolls out, under pressure. Does not get her flag pulled. She's got some running room. Down the sideline she goes. Still not pulled. She's still going. Oh, she's going for it. She's it. gone. 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, juniors. That was 28. Man, she broke four tackles there around the 45-yard line. Then after that, it was all open green grass and into the end zone. And the juniors take an early 6-0 lead there. That was 28. Michaela Long. As that's how the juniors wanted to start there. Third and 10, backed up at the 20 yard line, get an 80 yard touchdown run from their quarterback. Yeah, when you're, the, you know, the senior defense getting back to the sideline, you had four guys on that, you know, they had four potential. You could have had her down at the 45, 46 yard line. Could've how had could her you, down in the how backfield? Could, how could you not? How could you not get a hand in there to pull the flag? Like you said in the open, it's gonna be those little plays that determine this game. Remember, the seniors do not have an experience from this. They're in the moment just as much as the juniors are. I think it's gonna be a back and forth game. Whoever gets that last gut punch in the fourth quarter, that's who's gonna win. Now the real question is, are they gonna try for the point after, or are they gonna go for two? I saw the seniors kicker kicking in warmups. I did not see a juniors kicker. Yeah, because it looked like the junior kicker was kind of squeaking it underneath the crossbar there. Yeah. So they might go for two and, you know, kind of puts the seniors, you know, they're going to be chasing the game. You know, they, they don't want to put up seven and then still behind, be behind a whole point. That's going to cause the seniors to play a little bit of catch up. And if it looks like from this stance. It looks like they're going to go for the PAT. Yep, they are going for the PAT. It's 88. That's Natalie Taylor kicking it. Kick is up. And it's no good, just short. Had the line, but just short off the foot of Taylor. That's gonna keep it a six to nothing game. Yeah, if you're the seniors here, you know, you're getting the ball. First drive of the game, go down there and score. Maybe even, you know, seniors had a couple of good legs out there yep. for special teams, you know, get the ball back, get the ball, go down and score, put, put them up by one. Deflate that defense. As we are gonna get the, in moments, we're gonna get our first look at the Dragons offense. 
talking to Coach Werniker, he talked a lot about those trick plays that we might be able to see out of the seniors' offense tonight. Yeah, he was talking about a lot of, you know, running trick plays that, you know. The double, triple, end arounds, whatever. Yeah, you know, maybe the varsity team will see the film tonight. And he said there might be those. even a chance for a quadruple if they're up big late. Yeah, you know, it's like Coach Whitaker has a lot of tricks in his bag tonight, yep. and he's willing to use them, as he said before the game. So, Coach Whitaker is a former JV football coach, former freshman baseball coach, so he has experience coaching. Coach Burning, Coach Palmieri, besides Powder Puff, nothing. As it is going to be Taylor on to kick it off. Couple, one deep, because that's a short kick. Sophia Luna picks up the ball. She's at the 50, breaks a couple of people, Nicole, and finally gets her flag pulled. Nicole Luna there. 29. Now she, she told me in second hour that she didn't want her name called on the broadcast, but there you go. She picked up the ball, so she gets her name called. There you go, Sophia Luna. We are getting yelled at tomorrow, apparently. Nicole Luna. Nicole Luna. As seniors will take the ball at about midfield. It looks to be maybe in juniors territory. Let's see where they mark it down at. It looks like it's gonna be right at the 50. Right at the 50. As that looks like Liv Peplowski, number 97. In at QB. In at QB. As you mentioned, Dawson, we're gonna have a chance to see two seniors tonight, two senior quarterbacks tonight. 92 Taylor Mosier and 97 Liv Peplowski. And Witt said they're going to switch drives, switch possessions. As it is Peplowski's little toss. As she is not dragged down, she is, lo loses a couple yards back to their own 48-yard line. So it'll be second and 12 from the seniors' 48. That was Violet Thomas on the pole. Lost a two there, back to the 48. Let's bring up second and 12. But talking to Coach Whitaker, he talked, you know, a lot about wanting to get everyone in. He said he's really going to have four types of offenses. They're going to run the same plays, but they're going to be different people. Same thing with defense, same thing with kick returns, punt returns, kickoffs, kick, punt, punts. And just, you know, getting people that chance to play as there's a the little end around. Gets a block there, nice block. She's got some running room. Down to the 30, cuts it upfield. She's got one person to breathe. Brought down at the 10-yard line. Big running play there for the seniors. Yeah, it looks like the flag wasn't even grabbed. It looks like they shoved her right down. Yeah. I still have not gotten a number for the ball carrier there. Fifteen was the ball carrier. Fifteen, that is Bridget Finneran. Good play there by Finneran. Pits it at the 11 yard line, first and 10. Remember, the seniors can get a first down here down at the one yard line. <coughs> but yeah, going back to my point earlier, Whitaker actually said that numbers are down for Powder Puff. So you know what that means, Dawson? More playing time for those people that showed out. That's right. Especially when you have rosters over 100 players. There's a snap. Well, Cat, she's got some room as she is pulled down at the two yard line. That was 10. Georgia, Georgia Curtis gets it down to about the two or three yard line. See where they mark it. They're actually marking it down at the five. That's going to bring up second and three, second and four. They go for one. Big play there by Curtis. As that gets the seniors not only on the board, that gets the fans right back into it. Yeah, it looks like they're the PAT team. They're gonna run the PAT. Now they had a pretty they were kicking, they were making quite they a had bit a really of good kick. Today. They had a really good kicker. I imagine, yes, 106. That's gonna be on page four. Page three. 106 is Mia Stewart. As you remember, for a PAT, you cannot block it. You just stand there with your hands up and hope something happens.
There's the snap. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up. No good, just short. Looked more of a line drive kick there off the foot of Stewart. That's going to keep the game at a 6-6 tie. Game is knotted at 6. Thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch OHS Sports Live online all year. We've got a full schedule of varsity football, volleyball, and more this fall, plus concerts and ceremonies. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and half of the money goes right back to the OHS Dragon Broadcasting Program. Be sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Owen TV thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication bringing Dragon Sports to the world. Now the seniors are getting ready to kick it away yet again. It's going to be a back and forth game all night. I'm just looking forward to when somebody actually makes a PAT. That's going to be an exciting moment, I think, for both sides. Yeah, it's going to make you think long and hard if you're going to go for the one or you're going to try for, for the two. two. I believe that is most likely Stewart out the kick. I've not seen a number yet. That's a low line drive kick. Taken in at the 20. That's 57. We took it in. Victoria Heffery. As she is stopped. Down at the 30 something yard line. Let's see where it's marked. I believe that's going to be at the 35. Yes, that's going to be right at the 35, and that's where the juniors will set up their second possession of the night. Yeah, when the juniors were right around this area of the field last time, they ran it all the way down the field. So let's see if they'll try it again, try and do that let's QB see, scramble and get out there. and draw up here. Yeah, because when the seniors flushed the QB out of the pocket, ran all the way down the field. Could do it again. Yep. There's a snap. And they're on fumbled. Because that's going to be a loss of down, bring up second down. Looks like they might have lost one there. Looks like the seniors might have caught a break on defense there. I think she might have been able to break that up for a big yard. Yeah, it's a loss of one on the play due to the fumble. It'll be second and 11 from the junior 34. 34. There's a keeper. There's the handoff, actually. She's got some room. She's still running. She's got one person to beat. She's able to. Oh, 20, man. 10. Touchdown, juniors. Man, I'm telling you, that running game for the juniors is just unstoppable right now. That is number one, Whitney Acker with the touchdown run. That's going to pit them up 12 to 6. Let's see what their decision is. Go for the PAT or go for two. Yeah, you know, you're up by six. You know, the, the seniors are really chasing the game at this point. So they're playing really behind not, the eight ball. Yeah, they're they're not really you're not really risking anything if you're the juniors going for one or two. So it looks like they're trying the kicker back out, Taylor, and they're gonna go for the PAT again. Let's see if she can make it. For the PAT, there's a snap, low snap. She's gonna hold it down. There's the kick, kick is up. And it's good, good kick by Taylor, but more importantly, good adjustment by the placeholder there. That's right, so now the juniors have a seven point lead, so he, he As there's a replay of the touchdown run, Maybe not technical difficulties. Yeah, like we were saying, you know, that area of the field again, they ran it all the way down. Do you think that's better offense or just poor defense? It could go either way. And here's the replay of the touchdown run. There's one tackle. There's, There's another. a second tackle. Now you see, 
There's there, where she pits on the afterburner. That's about the 40-yard line of the That juniors. last effort there, she just couldn't grab the flag and home free. I like that effort there. That was 79 with the dive. That just shows how bad the teams want it. That was Teresa Hanning just pitting it, her body on the line. Yeah, you know, she couldn't. You, she knew she was running out of gas, so she's like, well, here's my... Gave it her all, reached out there. All just or nothing, out of last the reach, ditch. Out of the reach, and Junior's put up seven more. There's the kick, fumbled. They're gonna recover it no matter what. Stumbles a little bit, and she's brought down. That's gonna be back at about the 27 yard line. Good kick there by Taylor. As the seniors once again find themselves down on offense. Yeah, the seniors, you know, making those crucial mistakes. And, you know, it's, it looks like, you know, they, they the ball hit three different senior girls out there before, it, you know, somebody made an attempt to pick it up. Yeah, the ball gets wet because the field's really wet, but, you know, you lost about 10, 15 yards as the ball was rolling around as people were trying to pick it up. Less than a minute left in the first quarter, running clock. Here's the snap. Handoff is going to take it right. If she can beat this person, she's going to get a lot of yardage, and she just slips down at the 25. Loses a couple of yardage there. That was 27. Casey Lauer on the carry. Yeah, as that field is really wet. Just lost your footing there. Yep. As that's going to be the end of the first quarter, after one, juniors are leading this one 13 to 7. Today's game is a copyrighted presentation of Lake Orion High School's Dragon Broadcasting Program and Orion Neighborhood Television. Last school year, the LHS Dragon Broadcast Program was awarded the title of Best Overall Program in the Country. We brought you over 80 live sporting events, and we plan to match that again this year. Plus, you can catch our award-winning daily live new newscast, LOAM. Tune in at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Dawson, we've seen one quarter so far. What do you like from both teams so far? Well, if you're the juniors right now, you know, you got a seven-point lead, and keep doing what you've been doing. I mean, the seniors... Have, I mean, yeah, they got it down the field, but it took them quite a while to get down there. And if you had two plays, if you're the junior, two plays, you score twice. If that tells you anything. There's going to be a quarterback keep. Nice, nice blocking there. She might go the distance and down at the 40-yard line. That's going to be a first down, though. Tackle made by 77. Olivia Roback. That drum line is keeping everyone hyped up on the junior side. That 13 to 6 lead has to help a lot. I'm surprised that the drum line's not over on the senior side. I think they what they do is they go by half. So they'll be over there for the second half. Well, if I was the drum line, I'd stay over on the junior side, man. They are pumped and they are in the driver's seat right now. Two possessions, not even five plays in those combined two possessions. They already got 13 points on the board. Yeah, senior side seems kind of quiet right now. Not much for them to cheer about besides that one touchdown run. There's going to be the handoff by Mosier. Fumbled as she's just going to be marked down at the 30-yard line. That's going to be a loss of 10, bring up second and 20. The loose ball is down at the 30-yard line. But Witt keeping up with his wood, word. Keep, he pinned Mosier in for the second possession. So I imagine we'll see Pepelski back out for the third possession. Yeah, so they're swapping QBs on possession. Just Giving to, everyone just, equal play. Just to keep the juniors guessing, you know. It's going to be second and 20 from the 30-yard line. Trips left. There's a pitch. Junior's got pressure, wasn't able to tackle her. She's got some running room. Back up to the line of scrimmage. 
Is she tackled there? She is. Big tackle there at the 50 yard line. That's enough for a first down though. That's actually pushed out of bounds at the 49 yard line. That's gonna bring up third and one. It's gonna be third and one from the 49 yard line. Spread formation, two receivers on each side, single back in the backfield. There's a handoff. Oh man. And she is tackled in the backfield. That's gonna be back to the 45 yard line. Junior's defense came to play on that possession. Yeah, that running back was really far back, almost by the, you know, 40 yard line. You know, by the time she got the ball, some of the attackers were already in the backfield and it was they were just like, first of all, boom, there it is, and tackled for a loss. Fourth down and four from the 46. Yeah, this is all or nothing for the seniors right here. I mean, you're, you go for if it you here. Turn, turn the ball over. The juniors have a really, really good field possession to start out their drive here. They got to get this first. Looks like they might just punt it away. I cannot tell. They jog their offense off, so I'm imagining they're punting. No, there's a the handoff. She's got some oh, room and tackled man. back at the 45 yard line. Junior's defense is standing strong right now. Momentum, it's a momentum game. Juniors have all the momentum right now and they get the ball at the senior 40, 48, 49. About 48, 48. That's pretty good field position. Now, if you're the juniors jogging Can't out here, anything better. If you're the juniors jogging out here, you could, if you go in and score, you'll have a two possession lead. You're kind That's of huge. You know, you're you're on upset alert right now. Yeah, and we're only in the second quarter. As the Dragon soccer team just scored another goal, two to nothing lead against Flushing. But back to the powder puff game we have here. Little motion there, there's gonna be a snap, fumble. They're gonna roll it down at the spot of the fumble. That's gonna be back at their, back at the junior's 49 yard line. It's gonna bring up second and 13. Second and 13 from the 49 yard line. What are you saying if you're Coach Whitaker right here, Dawson? As there's a handoff, a little confusion, and once again, they're stopped in the backfield. Defense looking strong so far this possession. Yeah, well, that was a miscommunication on the offensive side. You had two, two potential runners running into each other down there, and you got the QB right in the middle, so they weren't really going anywhere, and if you're Coach Whitaker right now, you're telling your team just to, you know, it'd be huge if they were to get a stop here and, you know. Especially fourth. Yeah, get that momentum back. Over. Yeah. It's gonna be fourth down and third down and 16, sorry, from the 40, 36, 46 yard line. Drum line rocking out on the junior sideline once again. There's gonna be a whistle, timeout juniors. Larry Buss and the crew at Jets Pizza, located at 1091 South Lapeer Road, have been a proud supporter of Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics since 2009. Jet Supplies catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give them a call at 248-814-7559 for more information. And as the juniors discuss what they're gonna do, you know, third and long, you know, potential, you know, seniors might have a chance to stop them here. Be a big stop here if you're the seniors. Get that momentum back on your sideline just a little bit. Yeah, even 
yeah, even if it's just a little bit, get the ball back. Keep it a one-score game. You don't want to, you know, make it a two-possession game because, you know. You, That'll be hard it, for your offense right. to climb back from. Because there's a snap, rolls out, has some pressure, rolls out of it, rolls to her left. She's not down, so nice spin moves. As finally, she is taken down. Got a bunch of yardage back. That's going to be in the senior territory, down to about the 47, 48-yard line. That's actually marked down at the 41 as there's a replay. Watch her spin out of the tackle right there. That was 78, almost had her down in the backfield. Breaks three tackles right there. The athleticism from, that was 26, Chloe Wiegers, just to keep that play extended. Looking a little bit like Patrick Mahomes there. Yeah, looting the pressure and then finding a hole to get positive yardage and big now you're in there. Well, now you're in a position where okay, you can go for it on fourth down, and you have you have a reasonable amount right. of gain versus fourth and thirteen. It's fourth and five. That's an eight-yard gain right there. That's gonna be fourth and five from the seniors' forty-three. Empty backfield. There's some motion. It's gonna be a handoff out of the backfield actually. She's got the first down and more. She's not brought down. There's the two pos possession lead touchdown, juniors. And just like that, it's a two possession game. That's killer for the seniors right there, going down 19 to six. Here's a replay. As you watch, once again, getting, the pos getting pressure at the line of attack not being able to complete. Broken tackles right there at the 25, and then she just takes off. Green, open, open grass. Open field tacking, that's tackling. That's what's killing the seniors' defense right now. Yeah, you know, not only in the second possession where you had three girls in the vicinity to make a tackle. It was the same thing right there. Same, same thing. thing on, the fourth, on the third down run. Yeah. I don't know if the flags are... You know, hard to pull today, or you know, slippery from the yeah. Rain. But at the end of the day, key plays matter, and juniors right now they are running the table. Might see the first junior win from since 2017. There's a snap, the whole kick is up, just short off the boot of Taylor. That's gonna keep it a 19 to six game. That's still a three possession. That's a two possession game, Dawson. Yep. DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. The DVD copies are yet again purchasable by calling 248-393-1060. Now, Derek, the juniors are in the driver's seat. Up 19 to 6, currently around 9.20 left here in the first half. Here are the juniors. What would you do right now? Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's working. Keep the pedal to the metal. I don't care if you win 50 to 6. Just keep the pedal to the That's metal right. right now. Because here's the botch snap once again. Finally falls down on it at about the 39-yard line. And that's where the seniors will set up another possession. Yeah, so if you're the seniors here, the juniors have scored on every single drive tonight. You were stepped your second one. You've scored on one. Yep. They are one for two. But they, you know what might come back to haunt them? Taylor is one for three on PATs. That's right, but at the end of the day, points are points. Points win you games, and if you can't, if you can only get in the end zone once, I don't think you can win the game. But coming back down to it, if it's a close game at the end, you might be looking at those two missed PATs. That's right. As I do believe that is Peplowski under center. As there's a pass play, completes the pass. The oh! Play. She's got some running room. Nice trick play out of the bag of tricks, and she's down at the 41-yard line. That's the tackle by 95. Sophia Beamer, nice play there from the bag of trips from Witt with a completed pass. Yeah, nice little lateral there. Right before, you know, a couple juniors coming up to make the tackle and boom, shuffled it off and 
got a huge game. Plays like that can bring the momentum right back to your side, down by two scores. You turn a first down play into even huge more, game. 20, 30 yards. Yep. It says, indeed, Peplowski at the quarterback position. Spread formation here. She's got the running back right at her left side. There's some motion. There's going to be the handoff, the reverse. Nice blocking there. As there is a flag coming out. As she's still on her feet. And finally, her flag is taken at about the 48 yard line. Let's see what the flag is. It's going to be holding on the offense. Holding on the seniors. That's gonna put it back at about the 47, I believe. No, they're walking it back 10 yards. That's gonna put it back all the way at their own 45 yard line. So mistakes like that, that's gonna kill you. That's right, Derek, and we talked about in pregame, it's the little things that'll win you, win you this game. It's a game of, you know, to win pride. And it's the little things that you know, really stand out throughout the course of the game. Like this penalty, 10 yard penalty, now you're looking at a first and 23. This is a direct snap to the Wildcat. Rolls it right. As she gets a positive gain, flag pulled. That's just getting back yardage there on first down, good play. As she moves it to the 45 yard line of the juniors. So it'll be second down and 13 for the seniors. But that's a positive game there on first down. Get it second and closer to the first yard gain. Yeah, you get it up near the you know original line of scrimmage, and you're kind of looking at okay, this is more like a you know you're getting close to the marker where you can be like okay, we're 10 yards, you know, five yards. Yeah, you can kind of go for it, but see, even if you get another 10 yard gain, that's gonna be third and short when you had first and 23 back in your own territory. Yeah. It's going to be second and 13 at the 45. Another Wildcat snap. Has good blocking. It's going to roll out left. Hits the sidelines. Tackle missed. Another tackle missed. She's cutting it back upfield. I think she might have this one. Oh, nice tackle at the 27 yard line. Another big play leads to a senior first down. Those are the plays you need. Good play, good run there by the seniors. Get it down in enemy territory and get it into the red zone. That's going to be down to the 12-yard line, 17-yard line actually. Yeah. So if you're the seniors right now, you got to start watching the clock as it it'll only stop under two minutes. Yeah. So it's kind of like the NFL, two-minute warning, you know. But it keeps running. You got clock management is big right now. Let's see what Coach Whitaker can draw up here. First and ten from. The junior 17, down 19 to 6 with 14 13 left in the half. 4 13 actually. There's going to be a rollout pitch. As the tackle oh. is pulled, the flag is pulled at the 20 yard line. That was 84. McKinley Stevens with the tackle there for the juniors. Nice tackle there. Dives for it, grabs the flag. Second and 14. Three forty left here in the first half. Seniors be looking to take their time, running it in the huddle. Is it second and fourteen? There's a direct snap to the Wildcat. Get some blocking. Flags pulled though. Looks to be back to the original line of scrimmage. That was 27. Casey Lauer with the carry. It's going to bring up third down and 10. And we are under three minutes here. There's going to be a timeout by Witt, the second timeout of the half. 
Sorry, correction, first time out of the half, they have two left. Go mobile with Owen TV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect with Owen TV to see what's happening in our studio, see upcoming events, and watch Owen TV programs in high definition and on demand. Owen TV is working to bring back the glory into the world. All right. So we're looking at a 19-6 game here. Two minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the first half. Here are the seniors here. you got to get on the board before the half because you know you're going to be getting the ball back at the start of the second half. So, so not that could only be a two-possession swing right there if you score going into halftime and you score coming out. And if you stop the juniors here before, you know, before the first half ends, you could easily make it almost. You might even be able to take the lead. Big thing to remember, they have two timeouts. Clock is going to stop like it would for a normal football. And it is third down right now. So Third down and 10 from the 17. Trips right, single receiver to the left, single back in the backfield. It's going to be the handoff. He's got some yardage, positive yardage. As the flag is pulled. Looks to be a gain of, of about five. He's going to bring up fourth down, though. Fourth and seven, gain of three there. you got to go for it here if you're the seniors. Oh, yeah. If you're the seniors, you know, you're in the red zone. You need points. you got to get something out of it, even if it's just a first down. Clock continues to run down to 2.43 left in the half. 2.40. As the seniors seem to be into it, the juniors, seniors, student section, not much to cheer for in the first half. It's gonna be a fourth and seven from the 14 yard line. First down marking is at about the seven. See what Witt calls up here on fourth and seven. There's a snap, it's gonna be a pass. We've seen this play before. It's got some blocking, down to the 10. Knocked out of bounds at the five yard line. Let's see where they mark this. It looks to be enough for a first down and yes, they're moving the markers. I mean, first and goal at about the five yard line. Good play there, good time to dial that play up once again. That is a good pickup there by the seniors. Another one of their trick plays out of that bag of tricks and it gets them the first down and they are in position to make, make a statement here really at the end of the first half. If you're wit, when you start burning those timeouts to try and get enough clock to maybe jog your offense out again if you stop the juniors. Yeah, if you're Coach Whitaker right now, you know, you're really, those trick plays are really throwing the juniors off. And you see you can get those crucial yards with those trick plays and seeing that you can really improvise them. Clock continues to run down to about a minute 15. There's going to be the double reverse. She's got blocking. I think she's going to be able to walk in. And let's see the officials marking. She is in. Touchdown, seniors. We got a ball game, folks. Good answer there as the clock continues to run down to a seven-point game. Big. As there's a replay, the double reverse works. That's 46 who scored. As she, good cut there, good block. The juke, and she was able to get in. Yeah, it looks like she ran right at a junior defender there. She's lucky she didn't get her flag pulled there at the one. Madeline Smith was the one to score. As it looks like the seniors are just going to jog out for the PAT. And it looks like... We didn't have this last year. Just be able to have that homecoming at atmosphere. You know, we had the hypnotist last night. Our very own Lyndon Potter was hypnotized. Yeah, he was the star of the show last night. He was night. the star of the show. But not even that, you know, you had activity night, Sunday night, the parade, like you said, the homecoming king and queen tomorrow, the game. It felt and then the somewhat dance. normal. Even in the craziness, you know, we're in, just having that normalcy back is something we haven't experienced in a year plus. And being able to you, just have that homecoming, just that one last experience as seniors. And even for, you know, the underclassmen who weren't able to have it last year, or even juniors, who had it as freshmen. Yeah, it's great to be back. As the clock is winding down, there's gonna be a handoff, takes it left. 
she's going to be knocked out of bounds. Nice little hit there by the defense. I believe that was 44 on the carry. That's Taylor Dinda. Taylor Dinda. Had her older brother Ryan in TPW for about half a year last year. Yeah, Ryan's a good guy. He's over at Oakland University right now. Big shout out to Ryan if he's watching this game right now. Enjoying the college life. Taking it all in. And once again, my partner is shaking his head at me. Clock continues to run down to about 345 left in the game. Seniors are up big in this one, 34 to 19. It's gonna be a second and four from the juniors 31 yard line. Might go Wildcat here. Quarterback is directing traffic. She's gonna keep it herself. Might try and roll out and pass this one. She's gonna keep it. She's got some room to run. Cuts it upfield. She's still on her feet. She's breaking a couple of tackles. She's running this one. They've got the flag. Let's see where this one's marked down. There's a pile of bodies on the field. Could not see the flag pulled. As they are indeed gonna move the chains and mark this one down at the seniors 47 yard line. Clock continues to run. As Dawson, if you're the juniors, you just want one more score. Just something to brag about tomorrow. Yeah, get it closer, friend. And, you know, at school, my life. we ran you over last time. But uh, can you do your senior voice again? Do it one more time. I uh, got ran over last night. And there's Dustin Wolf. The uh, what do you call those people that do the impressionist? Yes, but you know. <laughs> So as the seniors look to try and end this comeback here. They're gonna change the clock to 310 left in the game. As the clock on our screen just keeps continuing to wind down. We have an awesome graphics person doing graphics tonight. Yes we do, his name. Jackson Bellinger. <laughs> just gave us a little salute. I wish we had a GoPro in here tonight so you could see the craziness. We got heads nodding, salutes. I'm about half asleep right now. Rain's starting to come down again. Rain's starting to come down. You can't write this. The last time it's rained at a powder puff event. I probably wasn't born yet. Yeah, it's been years. <laughs> there was the flag pulled. The juniors are starting to drive though. I still got editing to do tonight. Got a big show tomorrow. We're gonna do it in the field house. That's gonna be a must see tomorrow, huh Dawson? That's right, LOAM tomorrow. 12.55 p.m. Live from Lake Orange Field, field house. house for the homecoming festivities tomorrow. Must see episode. I'll be at the desk alongside Brian Donahue. Dawson, you'll be on sports. Sounds there's going to be a tackle inbound, second down. Clock will continue to run. Sounds like a good time to me, Miss. It's going to be a fun one from the field house. That's right. Homecoming festivities come to an end tomorrow at school. But yet we do have the dance on dance, Saturday. The game, pictures. Yeah, and we, our very own Lyndon Potter is going to be doing the homecoming PA announcing. Pep, as, pep assembly. Announcing. Yeah, he's going to be do a really nice job at that. Uh, and the next Kobe Manzo there. Kobe did a great job doing that for two years. Mr. Shramick did it for a while. And let's see if the seniors can pull this one off, which they might. This is going to be a handoff. Rolls out left. As that's going to bring up the third down, down to about the 20-yard line. Clock is within two minutes, so it'll stop with MHSA normal rules. It'll continue to run. No, they are stopping clock. 
Junior is called timeout. DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. That's DVD copies at 248-393-1060. Okay, Dawson, I got a question for you. You could get a DVD copy of any game within the lap, probably within our high school career, which one are you going with? That's a good question, Derek. Um, if I had to get a DVD with my favorite Dragon game, I would have to say, I would have to say the Lake Orion Contest against West Bloomfield sophomore year, Donovan Edwards running back for West Bloomfield, currently playing at Michigan. One where it went to like three, five now, overtimes. No, yeah. That's going to be a toss in there, picked off. Now, get this, that game got canceled. Friday night, I Friday remember night, that. Friday night, and they moved that. it to Saturday. Saturday. And if Edwards they, had like five rushing touchdowns that game. Yeah, if they, if they would have. 28 7. If they would have finished it on Friday, I think Lake the Grand would have won. Would have won. But since they canceled it, that gave West Bloomfield momentum. We've talked about how important momentum is tonight. That's right, as we are sitting right on the one minute mark here and getting ready to wind this game down. They called that last pass incomplete. Fourth down, you're the juniors here, you gotta get it. If not, the game is over. See what they dial up on fourth and three. High snap, it's gonna be the end around. Flag is down, two flags are down. As she is down to the 11 yard line, it's gonna be a first down though, flag on the field. Going back to our conversation earlier, you know what game I would say? Home well, playoff game sophomore year against Stony Creek. Going well, that was had a, that 70 something yard touchdown run. That was That's a, the game I would go with. I think that one finished out 28-27 Lake Warren. That was a close one. Then that they was, went. That was a fun game. Then they traveled to Grand Blank to try and knock off the Bobcats, and Kyler Carson got hurt in the second quarter, yep. and the Grand Blank just sent us home. But it's gonna be a holding penalty on the offense. Bring up fourth down, and a yep. little bit longer. As the clock winds down, they might not even. They're gonna snap it probably one more time, and that'll be about game. Another game I would go with. Oh, oh, oh almost a home run there. Dropped. Incomplete, and it looks like the seniors will walk away with the W tonight. Gonna have the kneel, 22 and a half seconds left. We're going back to our conversation earlier. Another game, going into Clarkston, whomping on the Wolves. If that one's in the vaults, I'd go with that one. <laughs> Southfield A&T at home that year, beating them up. We had a good football team that year. Blaze Lauer, Kobe Manzo, Cade Manzo. That's right, all those. Miss, miss those players. Dragons legends. And it looks like they're just going to let the clock grind down. And the seniors, be, after being down 19-6, to 6, come back and win 34-19. And that will cap off the Powder Puff game this year. As they try to get one more play out before time expires. There it is. End the round. She's going to throw it downfield. All or nothing play. Just over through the receiver. And it's the clock. Big 34 to 19 win tonight. Dawson, give us your final thoughts. Yeah, seniors didn't let the them being down early affect them. You know, they stormed back and had three straight possessions where they marched it in the end zone and there we go, senior victory 2021. As both teams will take the field and high five. Remember at the day, at the end of the day, we're all dragons, all of us won tonight. And yeah, that's all I about got to say. Tonight's telecast is a copyrighted presentation of ONTV and Dragon Broadcasting. I'm alongside my partner, Mr. Big D Steele, also known as Derek Steele. I, my, myself, Mr. Dawson Wolf here. Powder Puff is seniors three years in a row. 
Maybe four years in a row next we'll year. We'll have to wait and see. We won't be here to tell you that story 